Superman in the Nursing Home. It started with the flying. I just had to get away. I thought I was going crazy, hearing things, voices, sirens, water running behind walls, and crying. Someone always crying behind closed doors. It was that super hearing. I had it then. So some nights, I'd fly out beyond the city until I couldn't hear them anymore. Way out over the ocean, where I could see the earth turning and the sun rising over the edge of the next day. Miraculous. Made me feel like the only man on earth. Only, I wasn't a man. I was a freak. Then came all those years of changing clothes in dirty phone booths. Chewing gum on the floor, getting stuck in my pants. Cigarette butts and the smell of winos and urine. Sometimes the phone would ring while I was in there, and it always gave me the creeps. I mean, an anonymous telephone in the middle of the night on a deserted street, and it's ringing for someone. Anyone. I never picked it up. I didn't want to hear it. Lives pulled thin over a phone wire. Pockets with holes. Bad breath whistling through bad teeth. What could I do? Someone sobbing and sloppy drunk in a bar somewhere dials a number at random and gets Superman with his pants down in a phone booth. The Superman thing started out modestly, lifting automobiles off attrapped of motorists, catching falling babies before they hit the sidewalk. But it felt too good. The applause, the way the Earth girls looked at me, and it all got out of hand. I should have stopped after the first bank robbery. I should have seen the handwriting on the wall. There'd never be any cash reward in this for an indestructible guy like me. Just a thanks, Superman, and the bankers smiling as I flew away. All the time they were thinking, what a fucking tool. And they were right. Hell, it was all insured. If I'd have quit then and done something with myself, forgot this superhero thing and gotten a, a realtor's license, or just a full-time job with benefits, maybe I wouldn't be waiting for the TV hour here in the day room at the county home. I never saved anyone from this. No one could. But sometimes I remember those nights when nothing was happening in Metropolis, flying quiet over the city with the wind shuffling my hair and the billboards down below like a cry for help I could finally ignore. Nights like that. I'd remember jor -El and even Lex Luthor, locked in ice forever up on the North Pole, and I know now how every story only happens once, superhero or not. One evening, you climb on the bus to go home. You unfold the newspaper. You glance at the headlines, and everything's already happened. So you doze off with the sway of the bus, and you wake up confused as the day is turning into darkness because in that first moment, it's easy to mistake it for the other way around.